Hey folks, I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying. This is totally experimental right here. So, welcome to another episode of the Mike Kaylee 7 Show. I'll be your host, Mike Kaylee 7. Atop my 2014 Ultra Classic Electric Glide, also known as the Phoenix. My apologies for the view of my mug again. Probably would rather see something like scenery or something, but I forgot and turned it the wrong way. Oh well, you're stuck with me. Hee <laughs> hee. That way? No, no. I think it's more like this way. There you go. That's probably better. Anyway, today I'd like to talk to you about the Polar Bear Challenge. I don't know if you know this, but it's already begun. Being that today is the 2nd of December. Uh, so... What is the Polar Bear Challenge, you might ask? Well, let me tell you. Polar Bear Challenge is not a competition. You don't win anything. It's a, a way to share your experiences on the road in the cold. I know a lot of people like to, uh, to ride in the cold weather. And they want to hang out with people who are of a similar mindset online, you know, maybe even in person. So, the Polar Bear Challenge is for those people. So if you like to ride your bike in the cold and you want to share the journey, join us for the Polar Bear Challenge. Now here's how it works. You get on your motorcycle. Well, first, you, you record the temperature with a camera, video camera. What the temperature is in Fahrenheit, Celsius, both. Then you go to your motorcycle and you put your camera facing the odo, the odometer, and you take your starting mileage. Then you stick your camera wherever you stick it, <laughs> and then you ride. As you ride, you talk about whatever. Think of a topic, talk about nothing, whatever. And then when you're done, you get uh, to your destination or whatever take your camera and show the ending mileage it's just that simple the ride has to be a minimum of three minutes to qualify as far as I remember what are you doing there He's beeping at his buddy yeah three minute minimum to qualify to be in the challenge you have to do three videos to be considered a polar bear You can only post one video per day. You can make as many many videos as you want on a single day, but you can only post one video per day. Maybe you ride twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. You want to do both. You can only post one of those per day. Save that next one for the next day. The temperature has to be 32 degrees or below 32 degrees. Standing temperature, not with the wind chill. The person who rides the most miles at 32 or lower will be the miles leader or champion, whatever you want to call it, polar bear. Then there's another category for the person who rides in the coldest temperatures, which is pretty cool. <laughs> no pun intended. And I think there's another category for the most rides. Now, I, I do want to caution you to be safe. It's not a joke riding in the cold weather. You can really hurt yourself. I broke my leg four years ago getting ready to participate back in November of 2010.
because I forgot one of the cardinal safety rules about riding on uncertain surfaces with cold tires and leaning the bike too aggressively. I just got complacent is all. So be careful of that kind of stuff. Be careful uh, not only about the limitations of your motorcycle or physics, but also your body. You can become hypothermic, which is not good. You lose uh, sensitivity in your hands. Makes your dexterity go to nothing. Your feet as well. Your reaction time slows. It's like being a drunk person. So, be careful of that. The other thing is, uh, if it's icy outside, you're taking a huge risk if you go out. I don't recommend it. Or if it's snowing, again, you're taking a huge risk. Motorcycles and snow don't really mix, especially street motorcycles. If you're on a, a, a Barbie, that BMX, uh, the uh, BMW, like Navy Thomas 8 uses, or KLR, like Muzzle Mike, those are built more for that kind of stuff. Not ice necessarily, but snow okay. Maybe. Lighter weight, at least if you fall down, it won't crush you, hopefully. So, be careful of that kind of stuff. I don't want anybody to get hurt or killed trying to do a polar bear challenge video. That would be stupid. Also, watch out for uh, deer, you know, in the winter time. Deer will mess up your day quick. You probably saw my video of the car from a couple days ago. So watch out for that. This time of year, the deer are frisky. Out and about looking for a prune tang and whatnot. So just be careful. Have fun, of course. Traditionally, I've made videos where I act like a lunatic. But lately, I just haven't had the, the fire for the lunacy video. Maybe I'm not creative anymore. I don't know. Maybe it's my medicine. <laughs> But it's a, it's a fun challenge. It's, it's great to do. Uh, you can BS with your friends, talk trash. So that's always a fun thing, is the trash talking and the I'm going to kick your butt kind of thing. You also get good, good ideas for how to keep yourself warm. Some people bundle up. Some people use heated stuff. I'm now uh, one of the heated people. I use the heated gloves, although I'm not wearing them today. It's only 52 degrees. That's not bad. So, uh, you learn things from the other members. There are some people who ride in truly frightening temperatures, like minus 26 degrees. I think that's the lowest I've seen so far. And the point is not necessarily to win, but just to have a good time and to have a sense of accomplishment. Make friends along the way. Enjoy the, the uh, incredulous stares of passers-by. What are you doing? Oh, Lord of mercy. People are eat up with the dumbass today. So uh, that's my take on the polar bear challenge. There's a website. I'll put the link to it in the comments down below. I don't know who's judging it this year, but God bless you. Whoever is managing this thing now, God bless you. You guys are awesome.
And now I leave you with a Gura Wolf Rar for the Polar Bear Challenge. All the best. Stay safe out there. It's my Kaylee 7. I'll talk to you later. Let's see if I can maneuver this motorcycle in here. All right, folks. Let me show you. Let me show you something real quick. So you know that I like the. Uh... Sorry about that. You know that I bought some heated gear, so that's what it looks like. That's the heated gear. I don't know if you can see that, but there it is. And you'll notice I'm going to put my hand where you can turn up the temperature. Turn up the temperature, turn down the temperature, which is pretty freaking awesome. And I'm also going to show you my boots. Oh, right away, that's that's where I take my temperature in the morning. These are my, my new boots. And they go up 16 inches. Maybe I'll post a picture. I can't get at them now because i got my leather pants on. The big reveal. Carolina boots. Look at that. These things are gargantuan, aren't they? Look at those things. It's for my bad leg. So that I can, uh, you know, not have as much pain. It's more support. That kind of thing. Uh, getting old, ain't for sissies. Alright folks, my Kaylee 7. Talk to you later.